Hey, I just recorded my entire intro. <laughs> and it was deep too, bro. I was I was feeling like a, 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 a philosopher? 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 Yeah, I was feeling like a philosopher in that intro. And I looked over and I wasn't even hitting record. And I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to fake it. So we're going to act like none of that even happened. Um, Let me give y'all the recipe for making the NBA. All you young kids out there that have NBA aspirations, get your pen and paper because Kenny's about to, about to break it down for you. Number one, you have to have good genetics. I'm sorry. If if your parent, if your dad is 5'10 and your mom is five foot like mine, you're probably not going to end up being six feet or taller. And everybody, majority, 95% of the league is six foot or taller. So if you're not going to be that, I'm not saying you can do it. You can. I know you can. But it's just going to be a little bit tougher. So you have to be genetically gifted. You have to be a freakish athlete, which is has a lot to do with genetics as well. But you have to be smart. See, we always talk about players and how they're athletic and, and they can shoot a jump shot very, very well. But the mental aspect of basketball is just as important. You have to read, react. You have to know the situation at all time. You got to know all the other nine players that are on the court with you, what they can do, what they can't do. It's a lot of mental that goes into it and mentally strong because players will try to talk trash and get in, that and get in your brain. What does that have to do with today's video where we're talking about or looking at or watching the dumbest moments in NBA history? I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. And listen, I'm not saying everybody on this list is an idiot because obviously they ain't. But sometimes you have those mental lapses. Everybody, I have them every single day. Luckily for me, it don't happen on a national level like at the NBA finals of this first clip. Uh, it just happens usually off camera. Or sometimes it is on camera and I just cut it out of the video. Because y'all don't need to see me having brain farts and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go over to the video. Leave a like, man. We're trying to hit 100,000. We close, too. We like 5,000 away, 4,000 away. So if y'all leave enough likes and the video get out there a little bit more, man, we, we can hit 100,000. We can hit 100,000 pretty, pretty soon. Subscribe if you're new. So I mentioned this one because I paused here because I already know this first clip. This is in the finals a few years ago. Um, and man, 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 did I feel bad for LeBron at this night? Let's hit play. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith. Obviously, J.R. Smith didn't know Hill the situation. And we'll go to overtime. And the reason I say I felt bad for LeBron, please let that be in here. Where, where he did the, he did the, he, like he's pointing at J.R. like, bro, what are you doing? And then they sit on the bench and LeBron just looks defeated. No, we got to rewatch that one. That was too monumental. That's too monumental. He gets this rebound. Let, I, I just want to slow this down for y'all. Let me slow this down for y'all. Let's go to like, hmm, let's go half speed. First of all, George Hill has been hooping since this very moment. Shout out to him because he was the laughing stock of Twitter other than the J.R. Smith stuff because he missed that free play. So listen, great offensive rebound by J.R. Kevin Durant is there, but this is a layup, bro. And then you win game one and you don't end up getting swept, which I think they end up doing. Uh, but they didn't show the moment of LeBron's frustration. Look at him. And he's like, he just can't, he can't believe it. And they lost this game, bro. Crazy. J.R. hasn't recovered, bro. The man, ain't, the man hasn't really been playing. Well, he hasn't played at all this season. Like, that's, that's in itself tells you how big of a moment. All right, we got Boogie here. We kind of saw it. And he got dunked off. Oh my god. Oh my god. At that point, you just give up, Boog. Hey, get well soon, though. I need, I can't wait to see Boogie back on the court. But Anais Cancer dunked on you and he looked at you too at the garden. That's terrible. That's terrible. What we got here? Oh, I, Eric Blackstone just started dribbling. Yo, Draymond Green just did this like two or three days ago again. Who else? This happens kind of often, bro. You know what I'm thinking? I think we're going to get the play where Russell Westbrook is just walking the ball up the court. He's not dribbling. That has to be on this list because it's very similar to that where you forget to inbound the ball or you're just dribbling. From... <laughs> the man think he's playing rec league. What's the call? Like, what? Over, over? What's the call on that? Kelly to D-Book. A bucket. Okay. Shout out. Shout out to the Suns. Shout out to the Suns and trade rumors right now. I think LeBron hit the back of the backboard on that pass. I do remember this. This is a crazy game. Listen, y'all know I be I've just been knowing real stupid stuff. This is last season, right? The Lakers are trying to make a run for the playoffs. This is a Suns team 
that at this point had like 16, 17 wins. One of the worst teams in the league end up winning 19 total wins, right? This should be a shoe-in victory for the Lakers that are like two games out of the playoffs. They need this for sure win. And they lost. And they lost. And they lost. They lost this game. And this is this shows us how crazy it is. Then Brandon Ingram gets traded. Lonzo gets traded. And now the Lakers are amazing again. I mean, now I was I'm not blaming Brandon Ingram and them. I'm just saying that, like, you, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, Alonzo Tree at the free throw line. What's going on here? Made free throw. Shout out to him. Oh, PJ and this is in a close game. That's a three-point game. And now it's a one-point game because PJ Tucker didn't want to touch the what is going on in his brain right here, bro? PJ's one of my guys, sneakerhead. Shout out to him. But what is he thinking? And look at Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon can't believe it because Eric Gordon can't touch it. He can say everything he wants, but he can't touch it. And this is that clip I was talking about. Russell Westbrook literally walking the ball up the court without dribbling. Without dribbling, bro. He's just walking the ball up the court. And you got to think about Russell Westbrook has dribbled the ball millions of times in his life. But for this little short second, his brain went blank. He was thinking about everything except for dribbling the basketball. It's so crazy how stuff like that works. Listen, we're talking about a league MVP. He's just walking with the ball without dribbling. And then he finally does dribble after like six six times. And this is J.R. Smith again. First of all, J.R., you can't make two appearances on the dumbest plays in NBA history. He's on the bench talking to somebody, and, and Tony Snell gets an easy layup. Come on, JR. Come on, JR. And I forgot who he's talking to, but I remember this clip. He's on the bench talking to somebody. The ball is in play. Tony Snell, shout out to the God. Just like, give me the ball, and it's an easy It's easy to. I don't remember how the game ended. Oh, wait, wait. Look over here. Look over here. Look at the Bucks bench. Somebody got off the bench to say, like, good job to the person that was talking to JR. Look at that. Dap them up over there. Like, yeah, that was all a part of our plan. Ian Clark? I ain't heard the name Ian Clark in a very long time. Where's the sound? Where's the sound going? JaVale McGee. You know, a lot of Shaq in the Fool moments with JaVale McGee. That's what he, you know, that's his thing. They made the free throw. He picked up the ball. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, JaVale. We talk about NBA champion JaVale McGee, though. NBA champion JaVale McGee. So you can't talk too much about him because he know how to win now. Melo with a miss. Tyson Chandler with a board. Kick it out to Bargnani who misses it. Oh, situation. Oh, situation. Okay, let me turn this up. Let me turn this up. I don't know why the sound on this clip is so low. Look at the situation, all right? It's 19 seconds in the game, right? Melo takes a <laughs> super bad shot. We got two defenders here. Tyson Chandler being a king himself gets the rebound. The, the Knicks just have to dribble the ball out, get fouled or whatever. But Bargnani shot the ball. And now I wonder, did they win it or lose this game? I have to look it up. I'm sorry. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I'll be back. The Knicks did end up winning this game. They won the game. Luckily for them. Luckily for Bargnani. But yeah, okay. Luckily for him. What, what was his stats like? Was he just trying to... He was 5 for 16 at the moment. The man was just trying to get his shot percentage up. I respect it. But he ended up getting it even lower. Either way. Either way. You just have to play smart, Bargnani. Know the situation. Know the situation. And that's what Coach always used to say to us. Know the situation. Young Giannis on the court. Okay. Denzel miss. What's going on? I don't remember this game. J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith, three times, bro? Three times? And this is only a six-minute video, y'all. He's only a three times with it. Chris Paul. He missed it. Oh, my God. Shoot the ball. Oh, my. See, see I'm, I'm having brain farts, too, because I don't even know what's going on. They missed it. DeAndre Jordan gets the rebound with a possibility to win a game, and he just held it. He didn't try to tip it in or nothing. Okay, that's a bucket. That's a bucket. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kevin Martin. I miss Kevin Martin in the league. You can't do that. They exchanged the ball. Hassan Whiteside. That's why you out of there. That's why you out of there. That's why Miami gave up. Norris Cole gives it to him, and Hassan gives it back to him, and then he gives it to Hassan. 
It's the fourth quarter, bro. This is not randomly in the first quarter where dumb stuff happens. We talking late game. No good. Tyson Chandler. J.R. Smith again. J.R. Smith is on here so many times. Okay, where's the dumb play here? What am I missing? That ball, I thought, hit the back of the backboard on that pass, but there's where J.R. Smith, he had a wide open look. Rubio there. What am I missing? Wait, wait, wait. I got to rewatch that. I got to rewatch that one. Two on the shot clock. Three seconds down to two on the shot clock. And it hit the basket. And Tyson Chandler with a rebound. Smith puts up a three. He misses. Go. I understand. I understand. Jr. Know the situation, bro. I understand. He got a he got an open look, but it's 20 seconds left on the clock, and it's Carmelo Anthony, Anthony wide open on the wing. Swing it. Waste the time. But now they have the ball, and they just got fouled too. They about to hit some free throws and get out of there with a W. Oh my God. Who who filmed this one? Martell Webster. They needed three and he got he took two. They needed three and he took two. Yikes. Come on, Martell. Come on, Martell. Shout out to Rick. And he he can't believe it. Coach like, bro, yeah, we should have had Brad Miller in the game. So I'll definitely see him on the bench over there. I can't see anything. Wait. It didn't go in. That shot didn't go in. An air ball, and he took it like it went in. And now it's back there, ball. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's JR again. It was JR again. Oh my God, JR, bro. <sighs> okay. So, what did we learn in today's video? JR Smith has the lowest IQ in the NBA. Maybe that's why he doesn't have a job at the moment. I love JR. Actually, somebody should be giving my man a job, but I guess not. Well, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. Those were the lowest IQ plays in recent NBA history. Of course, we're going to be going all the way back to the to the 80s. Nah, we good on that. Because you thought those clips looked bad. I can't imagine what the 80s looked like if it wasn't like a prime time game. Uh, I'm out.